Hi guys, welcome, welcome to another video. Today we've got for you a, uh, a Dyson vacuum cleaner. Uh, I think it's... I don't know what the model is. I haven't got the other end because usually on the main pipe that's where the uh, the model of the device is. Um, but something, I think it was something 7. But anyway, that doesn't really, really matter at this point. Um, what we need to do is, oh, it's a V7, there you go, Dyson V7. So what we need to do is have a look why it's not working. So it's got no power. So let's start with the basics. Always start with the basics. So we've got the uh, power supply here. Let's plug that into my socket in the board. And uh, let's see if any lights come on the battery, which is just there. Okay, now it's possible that's dead or something else is wrong. So let's start with the power supply and see what we've got uh, coming out of it. Get a multimeter and uh, see what happens. So just connecting. All right, so we've got 26 volts coming out of the battery, uh, the charger. And let's see what it should have coming out of it. Uh, yeah, it's exactly uh, 26.1, so we're, we're okay there. Well, that's fine, so we know the charger works. Now, uh, is the battery failed? So the way the battery comes out, there's a screw here, uh, and that needs to be loosened up. Let's loosen that screw up, and then I think that should just pop the battery off. That's the retaining screw. Uh, I think we need to open the top. Oh God, I don't want to get messy. Right, sorry guys, I was uh, disturbed by a customer. Well, not disturbed, but just uh, distracted. Uh, so yeah, let's pull the uh, the battery out. I have no idea how to do that. Is that a release pin there? I haven't done one of these for a very, very long time, so. Or is there two screws here as well? Oh, there you go, there might be these two as well. So you've got two, three screws the battery in place. Uh, don't lose the screws because you'll be uh, hard push to find similar ones. So you just use a tray and that's the, the battery. So the thing is now how do we know that this battery has got any anything coming into it. So any charge okay right so you've got the connectors just there in there you need very thin tips for your multimeter anything 0.8 which is not enough at all and I think that's failed so if we get the charger and plug it into the battery Hold the pins in place and put them in a bit further. Okay. 0.85, put the plug that in, and it's dropping down. I think this battery has failed. Uh, uh, I think the battery's failed. So I'll order a new a new battery. All right then guys, so the new battery has arrived. Let's just take it out of the, out of the box quickly. I'm going to plug it in first uh, into the charger and as you can see the lights already coming on so I think this battery will be exactly what we uh, what we need to get this uh, um, vacuum working again. Okay and you'll see the volts coming through on the meter in a second there you go that's absolutely fine so I think the issue was just the battery but it's best to eliminate it isn't it you know if it wasn't the battery then I would have just returned the battery uh, to the to the supplier uh, there is a link in my uh, description below for the battery uh, and uh, yeah all should be good so let's just plug it in to the device now 
Okay, and just try the other power test. And on the second speed. Perfect. All we need to do now is uh, charge the, the back, put the screws in, charge the battery uninterrupted for 12 hours, run it down to approximately 0.1 when it switches off and with no power. And then what we can do is uh, charge it again, do that three times, and that will optimize the, the battery life of the battery. Uh, so yeah, there you have it. That's uh, a uh, another job done. Hope you like the video. I uh, hope it helps you uh, diagnose a dead uh, vacuum cleaner. Thank you.